Hello and welcome to my TFT channel. Uh, actually, my gaming channel. As you can see, I started this game off with a tier in hopes that I might be able to get some Negatron cloaks and more tiers and hopefully get Sona and get some sort of a mana printer build going on. First item BF and also you have a glove coming up there, not bad. The BF can become a guardian angel on someone and the the glove in addition to a giant's belt can become a trap claw. A lot of people are running these, um, what are they called now? I think they're called like, they're not candy lands, some sort of a I think it's no. I think it's actually called a Candyland build or whatever, where Poppy basically uh, throws her Q, <laughs> her Q, her ultimate at someone, and the back line and gets a shield for it, etc., etc. And I feel like Trap Claw can just really slow her down because what's dangerous about Poppy is, look at that Jace. That uh, reminds me of my first video that I made for TFT. Um, yeah, going back to the uh, talking about Poppy, getting, I'll do this for now, two vanguards, uh, one sorcerer, it's not a bad option at all. Uh, gonna get the uh, second sorcerer in later, the Zoe. Um, but yeah, with uh, Poppy throwing her Q around like mad, once she gets the shield, she still can uh, gain mana. Which is weird because uh, champions like Mordekaiser, for example, whilst the shield is active, they cannot charge up their mana. That's why Poppy is annoying and a, um, for instance, a Void Brawler a mana printer build can potentially silence this Candyland Poppy. Um, however, I don't know. I don't know. You know, you, you, starting a game in TFT, you never, you never really uh, come into the game with a perfect plan in the first few rounds, anyway. So just have to play out and see what happens. I'm thinking because I got the graves, and he's almost level two. If I get lucky and roll graves for level two, I might just pop him in um, for. Oh, I don't know. Should I replace the Vanguard boy bonus or should I delay the Sorcerer and try to get the uh, uh, Pirate Gold early? Or just wait and see. I think I'll wait and see for now. Never mind. I'll put these guys down like that. Take the Sorcerer out since I'm at level 3. Uh, the TF doesn't really do that much anyway. And the... Um, the Space Pirate Gold early can be nice in just improving the uh, overall economy early game. It's very important as all of you that play the game know. And as I remember from my first video where I also ran a uh, type of a Space Pirate build, I thought of introducing a gold counter feature, so here it goes. I'm going to be counting all the gold that um, Space Pirates provided me with this game. Put the Ziggs in there since he's a level 2 champ. He does a decent amount of damage early just to have him there as a, an, an extra source of damage. This is also something very annoying that came up recently, the uh, Shredder Zaya. Not so strong with just the uh, IE early, however a uh, quick last whisper on her with um, also J4 on the board can be a very, very annoying thing to deal with and I think that's the third gold now. In this carousel, uh, what should I go for? I think it would be the tier. No, no tier. What do I go for here? Should I just go for um, Rod? I think I'll go for Rod. It's a three cost unit as well. One more gold than the other guys. Uh, 
and that will make Rabadon on uh, Jace. It's not that bad. That is a two star graves and pop the Zoe and the TF there for Sorcerer bonus which gives my Jace and all the other units 20% uh, extra spell power which combined with the uh, Jace's uh, rod, do I make that into a, a death cap? I think I should just to keep the, the win streak going on earlier Yeah, slap it on. Oh, the Fiora. Nice. So, I just picked up the Zoe this round. Uh, not much changing. Hopefully, I can get some good item components uh, later on in the um, what is that round called it's so crazy how like I played this game um, a fair amount and I still don't know what the uh, names of uh, actually I don't think many many players know what they're called Raptors or whatever whatever they are that's a loss mm, sadly I lost the kill streak the win streak rather what are those things? They're Krugs! Yeah. <laughs> I think they're Krugs. Position these guys here, which is usually how I how I do it. Right, I'm praying to the RNG Jesus for uh, for, for, for some nice drops here. In be in before I get nothing. No, okay, I got something. It's a belt, not bad. I think that might be a trap claw. Ooh, another chase. Yeah, that's a trap claw. I really don't know what to what to play this game yet. I don't know what what, what I'm going for. I I. Uh... I haven't gotten any items to the mana printer yet, which is worrying. Um, because I need to come up with a plan of what to do with this um, with this tier. I mean, there's there's a few good items that you can make, but it's just it's all obviously build dependent, and when you don't have uh, too good of an idea of what to do, that might be a little more difficult. Do I win this? Oh, it was, it was close anyway. It was close. And there's a Darius in the shop. So, I'll do this. Put the space pirates in there. I still have the sorcerer. Bonus. Uh, I'll put the trap claw on Darius. Yeah, for the dodge chance. HP. And obviously the, uh, the passive. I've got Annie up there because she got buffed recently, she's a little bit of a stronger uh, one cost unit, uh, sorry two cost unit. Mm. Oh so this guy already has a form of a printer with the... he's just missing Kha'Zix and he's gonna have true damage on the Velkars and obviously all the other voids. But it seems like my Darius, can he clutch it out? Graves? No. Feels bad, man. But I'm not in a horrible position. In the 3-1 um, to 3-5, uh, 3-7 rounds, I sometimes uh, don't really care about win streaking um, because I feel like you don't you lose that much HP, and as long as you're win streaking or uh, lose streaking, you're um, setting yourself up for the uh, sweet. 50 gold uh, point economy which just provides you with a nice uh, and easier life when you want to transition into a, a late game build later on as you you're more likely to hit all the champions that you want to have but my problem right now is I don't know which champions I want just yet 
I think it's it's all gonna depend on the on what I get in the carousel. Oh, look at that boy fly. Oh, I won this. Three extra gold. Right, so we have our cloaks. We have, but I'm picking last. Okay, what is good in here? Tear is good. Belt, no, no, I don't need the belt. Negatron cloak, tear. Chain vest, chain vest for the GA. Yeah, it's a it's a chain vest. I'm kind of sad I don't get to uh, use the mana print earlier, but actually my team's not looking that bad. I'll pop the GA on Poppy for now because I know for sure I'll be selling her later. If I um, I, I didn't roll um, earlier for Poppy three, so I'm not gonna try getting. The um, I'm not I'm not going to keep Poppy there for a long time, basically, because I feel like she's uh, she's decent now, but later all she's going to fall off a little bit, and I'm going to replace her perhaps. Oh, what should I? Should I actually go for Space Pirates here? He's already making a lot of gold for me. But I feel like I'm, I'm just losing a bit too much HP now, like my board right now, it's decent but it's not amazing. I don't know if it's gonna, because people are gonna start spiking now, for example this guy with the uh, the mech. Uh, but he's level 5 so he can't hit the uh, infiltrator for synergy just yet. Okay, that's decent. There's another Darius in shop. Do I go for Mana Reaver? I think for now I will. Just to make the team a little bit stronger. Although, does that actually help me? Am I actually going to lose next? Um, I guess I don't care whether I win or lose. It's too late now. I won that or one round then. Uh, the third uh, round. Oh, there's another mech player. Well, they're going to go 7 and 8 holding hands together. Oh, Darius flew a little bit. Another gold. And Jace too. Right, the concept of going pirates is more and more appealing as this game unravels. Level 2 Jace already. Almost level 3 Graves. Level 2 Darius. If I high roll these items now from this uh, Aaron G. Jesus praying to you. Please give me good shit. I put Ash in for Celestial, obviously, because, yeah, as you can see, 200, 200. Oh, I got the cloak. I got the cloak, and I have another tier. Mm, could, I'll definitely make a chalice here at some point. Ah, oh, I'm so greedy. Yeah, man, I don't know, maybe... Hmm, but I couldn't replace the Sorcerer of anything, so... Just selling Zoe so I can get... There we go. Level 3 Graves. Should I... Should, I should be playing a, a level 3... Another Jace. Level 3 Champion on board, I feel. Because Graves is actually decent, level 3. Mm, please pick the Sona, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna pick, pick the Sona now. 100%. How do I position this? Well, as long as my front line is getting tanked up with mana, uh, Graves, I feel like he's gonna be really nice. Okay, so he's ult once. Darius once. Graves, second ult. Yep, 
Yeah, man. Zaya couldn't do anything because of Graves uh, 3. That's really good to know, actually, that there's a potential counter to this. But it doesn't matter, because this meta is going to change soon anyway. They introduced all these changes, and who knows what's going to come out on top next patch. Hopefully they balance the game out a little bit, since the game, the state of the game seems to me a little bit stale right now, with everyone just rushing for uh, three-star, one-cost uh, champions. Uh, hopefully they change it. I, I mean, hopefully. I know there's obviously there's a few people that are liking these uh, changes and they're enjoying this. They're climbing a lot in rank now. But me personally, and I know that a lot of people share a similar opinion. It's it just seems like whoever gets luckier in early and um, doesn't take doesn't take the risk of just holding onto their gold. If it pays off, then they're pretty much guaranteed top four. Oh wow, this Darius is smacking, but it doesn't matter, I'm still losing. Another three gold there. Okay, I'm first pick and there's an Echo with a tier, which means I get five gold and another Chalice, which is just, it's, it's great. I think I'm going to be uh, bouncing back now. I'm going to stop losing HP because 20 mana per cast for Sona and 20 mana for her. I think she's got 60 in total or 40. I think I think I think it might be 40. Um, yeah, two challenges. She's just going to be loading my team with mana now. And considering I've got a three-star Graves, that is really really going to translate to some um, some serious obstruction for the enemy teams. Uh, level two. Ash. Sorry, I may, I, I, I'm lying. I went. For, it's. I didn't have another uh, cloak. Uh, it's a. Sarah, it's. It's good regardless. She's gonna pump the mana a little bit quicker. It's not gonna be more mana, but she's gonna pump it quicker. I'm gonna reposition my guys around Sona like this. So uh, at the start, when she casts straight away, uh, she gives ten mana to everyone around. Uh, replace the Karma with Soraka for extra healing. Uh, as I still got Celestial, so I don't think my guy. Oh no, because this Meg guy jumped on my Sona straight away. Ooh. I mean, the infiltrators rather. But look at that. I think I still lose this though. Holy crap, Darius is actually. He, he's, he's actually pretty good here. Yeah, I still lose. But whatever, picked up more gold. Soraka? No, I'm gonna leave it till later. I'm very close to three starring Darius, so um, I don't really want to level just yet. I, I want to make sure that I get as much. There we go, just one away. From level 3 Darius. That is really going to start smacking. Uh, and if I get lucky, perhaps a level 3 Jace. That's a bit more optimistic. But now is the time to roll for these champions. As I get 30% chance to um, encounter a 2 cost unit. Look at that. Am I beating the, uh, the mana printer guy? With a uh, supposedly stronger setup with the voids? Yep. And boy, four gold this round. Four gold. Plus the one extra from winning the round. Five gold. Yeah, I'm going to get back up to 50 in no time. Another Jace. That's solid. Am I going to greed it out for Darius now? Oh, there's a, there's a Jace. I'll pick up the Soraka now, considering that I'm making uh, quite a bit of gold back from... Uh, these games. I don't hold now uh, for the one extra econ, maybe roll after. Man, imagine imagine four space pirates just getting pumped full of mana. They're gonna damage so much. Oh, there is a potential. Nah, I'm not gonna get another tier, am I? I've already got three. I'm going to reposition these guys because I feel like if Sona's a bit more static, it's going to be better. Oh, who am I frontlining here? Does this work? No, because my Darius is going to get stuck, I feel. Mm. 
But as long as he gets, as long as he gets the first charge of mana, there we go, level two. Sorry, a level three Jace. Okay, so I, I hit it before the Darius. That's funny. I thought I'm going to hit the uh, Darius way earlier, considering he's a two cost. But no, I guess statistics, um, the probabilities indicated that I'm, I am now more likely to encounter three star, three cost uh, units. But this is already looking good, man. Oh, this Jace. Doesn't even have any items on him. And he's just pumping damage. What's my uh, end of game plan here, though? Because I'm, I'm, we're starting to approach this stage. I cannot really... Can I be bold for 38 HP? Mm, the first place guy has twice as much HP as me, which can change very quickly, but he's also on a win streak. Do I try something fun here, or do I transition perhaps into Celestials? And try to maybe put the sonar items on some other uh, champion. No, oh, sick. That's what I was looking for, exactly. Three star Darius, three star Jace, three star Graves. Ooh, imagine if I got a three star Gangplank in this game as well. Three star Space Pirates, that would be sick. Alright, make my boys fly. Four gold though, jeez. How about I go for Mystics instead of the Celestials? Because I've got the Sona that heals. She's already healing a decent amount. If I just keep her protected, I've got a Chamber, so that could be a that could be a Guardian Angel on Sona to protect her from the burst of the Mech Infiltrators and the other the Void uh, Mana Printer guy. Because if, if Sona stays alive for a few seconds longer, she's going to pump out more mana and make it more likely that my Darius or Jace or even uh, Graves at this point, because all of their ultis are um, very valuable. Let's see. Four Mystics, four Space Pirates with... Yeah, I feel like I can drop Celestials and just replace that with... Uh... Mm, replace Celestials with Mystics and just make make the Pirates tank here since they're already level 3 they have uh, the most HP they can get naturally without any items and 4 gold yeah I think I'm gonna try to hit 4 Mystics and 4 Space Pirates here right what do I get as an item there is Lulu though and that's Possibly the the best mystic I can I can well I think it is especially with the with the item. It's not bad on her, but I think I'd rather find another Lulu later and replace replace her. Uh, put the item on Jace because a three star champ obviously uh, goes better with um, with ZZ Rock as compared to a uh, one star Lulu so I've replaced that, still got two Celestials get her closer together put Soraka there as well so all of them get pumped with mana yeah, put Sona here and I'm back up to 50 gold Okay, here we go. There's the mana mana printer guy. He doesn't have that much mana printing. He's got as much as me, but I, I pump it faster than he does. Yeah, GA on uh, GA on Sona, hundred percent. But would I would I put that GA would I take that GA off of Poppy? Do I sell Poppy now? Uh, almost up full, so something works out here. I want to get the four mystics. That will be a, a big spike. 
Yeah, four mystics. But no, for now, I'm going to put the GA on Lulu because I will be selling her later anyway. And Lulu can uh, clutch out a team fight. Alright, position my guys like this. Great. I think Graves will uh, ulti. Yeah, Zaya. That's fantastic. Just buys me time. For my boy Darius to uh, jump up a few times. Wow, he almost ate her. Do I lose this? I still lose this, right? Man, I really, I really need the GA. Down to 11 HP. Oh, okay, I need, I need to change something now. Spark, great. That goes on Darius straight away. Ionic Spark with Rabadon and Trap Claw. That's, that's a serious Darius there. I put the Trap Claw on Darius because um, having seen that there's uh, the Velkas player, uh, shutting down Velkas um, is, is great. It's, it's honestly, it's, it's fantastic. Uh, locking him up there for a little while. Or oh, even the mech. If, um, if the mechs won't have um, Quicksilvers, they're just going to get stunned. And that's, that's massive for my team. That just buys time. Sona keeps bumping uh, health and mana. So CC is a... I feel like CC is important with the mana printer builds. Okay, well, what am I going for here? Uh, I'm going to try to find a Lulu. Two star Karma, okay. There we go, there's a Lulu. Just pop another... Just pop another Lulu in there and wait until I get Gangplank. Right, let's see. Let's see how this rolls out. Man, double Lulu is, is actually decent. It's crazy how much Jace can, how much damage Jace can do without any items, just level three. I mean I guess you can say that for um for any champion that's uh, level three. However, man, it's actually mad. Without any items, he hit all more than half of what uh, Darius has done with, with full items and two uh, AP items. Man, man, Jace is good. Jace is a really strong unit, and especially with the recent. Um... Come on, I just want to hit GP. Come on. Ah, damn it. Especially with the recent Vanguard changes, it just uh, it makes him much... As you saw earlier, I was running um, Poppy with Jace. And that extra... Was it 125 armor? Man, that is a... Uh, that's a lot. I'll GA the Sona now. To make sure that she um, stays alive longer. So you see, now she died. But it doesn't even matter, because <laughs> Darius jumps out. Oh, I got a heap of gold again. I don't think this is a first, though. I mean, I beat this guy, but it's it's still likely that they're going to spike at some point. I really need the GP. Come on. If, if I get the GP, I'm going to start dropping uh, items. More... More magic resist on, on Jace, because, as you saw, he's a beast. I'll put this here so she uh, she shields Darius, make it a little bit more likely for him to hop around a bit more. Wait, what what happened to my Jace there? He didn't do anything. EMF is doing a little bit of work. Come on, Darius. Come on, my guy. Come on. True. You see that? That's mad. Oh, Seraph. What do I need here? No, I need um, I need another GA. I think it is another GA, isn't it? Yeah, GA. Although I could have just picked up the uh, A soul for more gold, as I had another chain there. But whatever. Hopefully, 
I'm gonna get Gangplank, and hopefully I'll drop an, an item that goes well with the with the vest. What what what, should, what could be what could be nice here? I think the shroud would be good here. I'll put this on a uh, MF. There we go. Great. Now that uh, definitely goes on GP, and I'm capped. There's only room for upgrades now, but oh, I don't know, man. Maybe I'm gonna. You know, I wanted this guy previously, so hopefully it works. But holy crap, three three-star space pirates here. I. And the Sona, man, this is broken. Darius just consistently craps damage out. Like all of them. Like Jason Jason the uh... Oh no. Look at now oh, this is a little bit too good. A demo spat. Boom. I, I said I, I was capped. I'm not capped. I'm I'm uncapped. Sky is my limit. In this game. In real life, not so much. Do I put this on Jay's or do I put it on Graves? I want I want Graves to stun the back line. Cause his front line's really weak, and I think Jace is gonna ulti the front line anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I stun the uh, Lulu, that's big. Oh my god. I think it's a first. That's gonna be a. Mm, what's this item called? Ah, you know, vest and bow. Oh, D claw. That's sick. I'm, <laughs> another chalice for extra printing for the Darius. D claw is gonna go on Jace, 100%. Just make him beefy as hell. But to be fair, I think this might be GG now. I think it might be. What can I do? I can, uh. I can try going for GP2. I, I should probably be able to hit that. I could perhaps try going for Lulu2 as well. I don't see myself 3 starring any other champions anymore. Yeah, just running for the GP, for the Lulu. Hit GP. Upgrade for the GP, larger area. Faster impact, sweet. Lulu? No. Oh, never gonna happen. Don't know why I'm picking this. Whatever. Now. Oh, I just put on uh, GP. It's just gonna make him. When he does ult, it's like, what? Gonna be 2% two, two strong. Okay, it's, it's not that much, but I think this is GG now. Honestly, this game felt really natural, and look, there's so much gold, so much gold throughout this game. Have a look at the gold counter; it's mad, man. I, f I feel like this game was was uh, just a, just a few mistake there, mistakes there, but overall, it was really fun. Thank you very much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to my channel or not. And um, also, if you like the video, please leave the thumbs up below the video or you can leave your thumbs up somewhere else both are fine thanks a lot guys see you next time